using the unit circle with angles measured in radians that are negative. So the thing I want you to notice is that you can count around the unit circle just like you count with fractions. If, for example, I want to count by pi over 6, notice that this is 1 pi over 6. And then if I go another 30 degrees, this is 2 pi over 6, which reduces to pi over 3. And if I go another 30 degrees, this is 3 pi over 6, which is pi over 2. So 1 pi over 6, 2 pi over 6, 3 pi over 6. Right here is 4 pi over 6 which reduces to 2 thirds pi or 2 pi over 3. And I can keep going around another 30 degrees. That's 5 pi over 6. And then another 30 is 6 pi over 6. And another 30 is 7 pi over 6. So I can keep going around. I can count by pi over 6s or I can count by pi over 4s. If I count by pi over 4s, then this would be 1 pi over 4. Here we have 2 pi over 4, which is pi over 2. Here we have 3 pi over 4. And one more pi over 4 is 4 pi over 4, which is pi. And I can keep going. Another 45 degrees is 5 pi over 4. Another 45 degrees is 6 pi over 4, which is 3 pi over 2. I can keep going. There's 7 pi over 4, and finally around to 8 pi over 4. So once you get that, that's very, very useful if you're dealing with negative angles either in degrees or radians, radians especially here because we're dealing with fractions. Let's take a look at that. So in radians, uh, if I count negative angles, notice how this is negative 30 degrees or negative pi over 6. I'm going the same direction, just another 30 degrees. Another 30 degrees is negative 2 pi over 6 which is negative pi over 3. Another 30 degrees is negative 3 pi over 6, which is negative pi over 2 if I simplify. Another 30 degrees, negative 4 pi over 6, which is negative 2 thirds pi. Another 30 degrees, negative 5 pi over 6. And another 30 degrees, is negative 6 pi over 6, which is negative pi. Remember, pi is 180 degrees. So I can keep going. There's negative 7 pi over 6. And then another one is negative 8 pi over 6, which is negative 4 thirds pi. And one more, there's negative 9 pi over 6, which divide by both by 3 is negative 3 pi over 2. Now you can you can look at the unit circle and and see uh, the positive angles and kind of figure it out going the other direction with the negative angles but understanding this is very helpful. If I count by pi over 4's in the negative direction right here that would be negative pi over 4 and another 45 degrees is negative 2 pi over 4, or negative pi over 2. And another 45 degrees is negative 3 pi over 4. And another 45 degrees is negative 4 pi over 4, which is negative pi. And I can keep going. There's negative 5 pi over 4 negative 6 pi over 4 which divide by 2 is negative 3 halves pi 
and I can keep going on around. If you understand this, it makes it easier to deal with the negative angles and radians uh, because the other alternative is to convert them to degrees. Let's take a look at a couple of problems off your assignment. Actually, I think there are three. So, if theta is negative 3 pi over 4, uh, find the sine, cosine, and tangent. So, we're going in the negative direction, negative, and if I go 45 degrees right there, there is a negative pi over 4. I'll go another 45 degrees, that's negative 2 pi over 4. And another 45 degrees is negative 3 pi over 4. And notice where I'm getting the 45 degrees right there. Pi over 4 is 45 degrees. So negative 1 pi over 4, negative 2 pi over 4, negative 3 pi over 4. So I am right here. This is what I'm dealing with. There's my x and my y. Now I know that sine is y over r, and remember r is 1 in the unit circle, so all we're looking at is just y in the unit circle, so the y value is right there, negative root 2 over 2, negative root 2 over 2. The cosine is x over r, and that since r is 1, it's just O x. And that's the same thing on that coordinate. The x is negative root 2 over 2. The tangent of theta is y over x. So I'll take the y coordinate, negative root 2 over 2. Take the x coordinate, negative root 2 over 2. Anything divided by itself is 1. Two negatives make a positive. The tangent is 1. Next one, negative 4 pi over 3. So uh, pi over 3, uh, actually I didn't count by those earlier, pi over 3 is right there. So I can count by pi over 3s. That's counting by 60 degrees. So I'm going the negative direction now. So uh, pi over 3, that's 60 degrees right there. I'm at 300. And that's negative pi over 3 right there to there another 60 degrees another pi over 3 I'm at 240 right there and that is negative 2 pi over 3 and I'll go another 60 degrees and right there is negative 3 pi over 3 which ends up being negative pi and one more 60 degrees and there is negative 4 pi over 3. And that puts me right here. Now you could have converted that to degrees if you want. Remember the shortcut, pi radians is 180 degrees. So I can literally take negative 4 pi over 3, that's our question, and go negative 4 times 180 divided by 3 and that will end up giving me negative 240 degrees and uh, that is what going from here clear around to there would get you now that we found our point right here uh, we know that the sign of theta is y over r, uh, which remember r is 1, it's just y. So I'll grab that coordinate and I'll grab the y. That's root 3 over 2. The cosine of theta is x over r, which since r is 1, it's just x. And we'll go and grab the x, that would be negative 1 half. The tangent of theta is y over x so I'm going to put the y up top that's root 3 over 2 divided by negative 1 half I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal root 3 over 2 times and flip it and the 2's cancel 
Looks like I get negative red three. Last example, I can take that negative seven pi over six, and again, convert it to degrees if you want. Pi radians is 180 degrees, negative seven times 180 divided by six. You can figure it out that way and, and get the angle measure in degrees, but I'm just gonna count in pi over sixes. So pi over six is 30 degrees right there, but this time I'm going the negative direction. So right there is negative one pi over six, negative two pi over six, negative three pi over six, negative four pi over six, negative five pi over six, negative six pi over six, negative seven pi over six. I'm ending up right here. And the point I'm looking at is right there. And now I know the sine of theta is y over r, it's just y. So it's a half. The cosine of theta is x over r. r is 1. It's x. It's negative 3 over 2. The tangent of theta is y over x. So it's 1 half over negative root 3 over 2, which is 1 half times. I'm going to flip it, make it negative. Negative 2 over root 3. I'll cancel the 2s. Looks like this is negative 1 over root 3 and I'll rationalize and it looks like I get negative root 3 over 3. So the sine is a half, the cosine is negative root 3 over 2 and the tangent is negative root 3 over 3.